like to think of that as a groove. Okay, a groove is this hypnotic piece of music. It repeats over and over again. It's like a wonderful little lick that, that just sort of sets the tone uh, for a song. It moves, it breathes, that's a groove. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to describe in words, but that's what I'm gonna be teaching you in this course uh, called Grooves You Can Use. I'm gonna be showing you dozens and dozens and dozens of grooves, and I'm gonna be showing them to you within songs. So in addition to learning a lot of different grooves, you're gonna be learning a bunch of different songs that you, that you can put these grooves to. Plus, I show you how you can use these grooves in other songs, in different keys. So once you learn one, you can put that into lots of various different, um, into different songs. So let's take a look at this next example. I'm doing it in drop D tuning. So I take my sixth string and I drop it down to, uh, down to a D. And then you can follow along and learn from a sample of what this uh, course is going to be all about. Now let's add, let's add a little wrinkle to it, okay? Just a little thing to make it pop a little more. So let's take a look at this because we're adding a little uh, an extra note in there. Listen, uh, extra timing. Listen. That little. So let's take a look at that very slowly. Just that one little lick. So what I'm doing here is I'm I'm starting off the way we did before with just the low sixth string and the fifth string being pinched with my thumb and first finger. But I'm pulling off now. And then when I add my third finger back again, it's going to be before I hit the bass note. Listen. So you want to get that da da da, you know, that everyone. It's actually two sixteenths and an eighth in there. Pinch, pull, play the note by itself then, and then bass by itself. That's the lick. So all together we have this. It's just a fun little groove. 